saying, don't step on that ant. Hey, of course, when a tree gets all tough, don't step on that ant. Don't step on their ant hill. It was teachings like that, and I would always wonder why. <laughs> One of the teachings that uh, is kind of lost uh, with all of the different uh, things that we encounter in present day life is the teaching about the way that it's said in Navajo in the language of our people is is what they say and which is simply to translate that the um, to go around and do things without knowing who you are and embarrassing yourself and embarrassing your, your people and embarrassing your clan families and your own family. Because it is very important that the, the early Diné and that they were careful on how they interacted with other people and with people from other parts of uh, the lands because it was that they understood that they were always representing their families or their clans and, and also representing what they believed and what they valued in life. So the uh, idea, which means knowing yourself, knowing yourself for your origin, your history, and the things that your people believe in, and living by those uh, teachings, and to be able to understand that within your own self, you can say, I believe this, I would never do this. And other people also can say, yes, he believes this, he would never do that. And so it is that that was the kind of life you were supposed to live. But to actually go out and to... Uh, make a fool of yourself and to uh, demonstrate to people that you don't know your teaching, you don't know yourself, you don't know your history, you know nothing about yourself is what it's saying. It means you know nothing about yourself and it's embarrassing. And so don't get out there in the crowd and, and do foolish things. And so the teachings of our people are very important to the young people today to understand that they go out and they do things and they are representing us as the ne. What are our values? What are the principles that we believe in? What are the teachings of our people? And it is it's very important to be able to uh, be recognized as Diné. And the uh, teachings go beyond that. To know yourself, you really have to take the time to understand the traditional teachings of our Diné. And that involves so many things, the relationship with the holy people, the relationship with your uh, your family, the relationship you have with other people, the relationship that you have with uh, nature, the relationship you have with all kinds of things outside of yourself. And to understand, I mean, there was a time when I felt, remember people saying, don't step on that ant. Of course, when a tree gets all tough, don't step on that ant, don't step on their ant hill. It was teachings like that, and I would always wonder why. You know, and as I grew older, they explained to me, you know, those, people, those creatures have their purpose in life. And so it is that the teaching, the traditional teaching, when you learn those things, then you know yourself. And you know what you will not do and what you will do. And that's the important thing, is knowing what you will do and what you won't do. And that's when you know yourself. Knowing what you should do is learned by the uh, traditional teachings and the uh, things that... Uh, you should not do is also sometimes explained and that things to do and things to not do. So it's always uh, like a f sides of a coin. Uh, these are the things you can do and these are the things you should not do. And so those are the things that when you comprehend them and apply them in your life and then you can understand that you can always say, I wouldn't do that. No, I won't do that. And other people know you by that way. He wouldn't do that. He knows better than to do that. He would not. And they would know you by the way you exercise what you had learned as when you were learning the traditional teachings. Nandane, or people of the world, I think that uh, that's important to understand is knowing who you are, knowing yourself and your relationship with your deity and the relationship with your a fellow man and the uh, relationship you have with uh, understanding what it is to live a good life or live a life that is uh, cluttered with uh, all kinds of problems and that that you can generate for yourself. You can do the things that uh, make easier your life or you can make things and choices and that that will complicate your life. So when you know yourself and know what you can do with what you know about yourself, you're going to do fine.
when uh, people are running for uh, elected offices and that, and uh, they go out and make statements that are so off the wall that uh, sometimes when people are talking about their platform of the uh, candidate that they have listened to, and they might say, you know, the ah, which means he doesn't know himself. He doesn't really know who he is, and so we might not vote for him. I think in the modern world on that, that one of the things that most people don't realize is how little they actually know about themselves as individual beings. And it is that it's very important to know about yourself and who you are and what you will do and what you won't do. And those are the things that we are told. Yeah, yeah, yeah,